Hi there, my name is Chris Derman. I'm the co-founder of Code Security. Today I'm going to talk about some cloud forensics tools. So first up, um, there is the cloud forensic utils. This is from Google themselves. And it's available both as a library um, with cloud forensics for Python, also CLI. It can be used to collect forensic evidence. So definitely full disk snapshots from Google Cloud as you're at AWS. Next tool is Prowler. This actually done tons of stuff around test out controls, but also in there includes forensic readiness. So you can make sure that you actually can have the data that you need to investigate an instance. Next one is Vark from Ars at Kado. It's a free tool to collect volatile data, but it's particularly designed to run in things like containerized environments and the cloud. It'll pull down things like memory from processors, network connections, and such. Threat response is an amazing set of tools, a um, bunch of different things here from a few different people. Um, a little bit dated now, but still very, very good. It includes tools to um, go remediate compromises by isolating instances, include things like ways how you can like, uh, get memory data out of EC2s as well. A bunch of different tools to do check out threat response. Going back to Cato again, we have our Cato Community Edition. So it's a free tool that runs in AWS, to be used to analyze disk snapshots. So rather than having to use something like um, you know, some of these old school kind of CLI forensics tools, you can use a nice web UI instead. Um, here you are, freely available. Automated Forensic Orchestra is a tool from Amazon available on the GitHub. This does a couple of different things, but basically it will collect forensic data from the EC2s um, via a couple of different triggers and some monitoring in there. So you can deploy it and then the scale is pretty well. And finally, our commercial platform, Kata Response, uh, will import a bunch of different things across AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. We get a full forensic snapshot, and then you can then do a bunch of analysis in the platform itself. And if you'd like to try any of that out, we have got a free trial on our website. Thank you for listening.